Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a silicon oil field eye with mature cataract. We can see silicon particles in the anterior chamber sticking to the cornea. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a triplanar incision. And now, a uh, side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now I inject an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. Blue Here goes the tripan blue dye. And now the dye as well as the silicon particles in the anterior chamber is thoroughly washed out with BSS. I have injected a bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates a little more. This is a mid dilated pupil and this is the anterior chamber lavage with BSS. There is lot of dye which is behind the iris, it is coming out and now capsular excess. Visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now with the help of uh, Ytrata forceps, the anti-capsule is pierced at the center and then it goes towards 3 o'clock and this capsular tag is held and guided anticlockwise. In this case it is being guided along the border of the people to get an adequate size to rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Now hydro dissection is done with the help of BSCs and 27 gauze cannula. The fluid is injected very gently just underneath the anterior capsular rim. The nucleus is tapped several times and then the some more visco. I didn't rotate the nucleus in this case. And now the FECO needle is introduced. It goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up towards the cornea. And now the tip of the FECO needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards 5 o'clock and this is a nice crack. Now I turn towards 3 o'clock and make another job. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified. In this case, from the very beginning, the ultrasonic energy is 70 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So the nucleus is divided into pieces. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. On heminucleus is managed by this time. And now the other heminucleus is chopped into pieces. The bottle height is little more in this case. The silicon oil from in the vitreous cavity always pushes the posterior capsule up towards the cornea and that has to be neutralized by the fluid pressure. So the bottle height is more in this case it is 101 centimeter.
And now the cortex is removed by this Simco cannula. Whenever there is silicon oil, the posterior capsule gets fibrosed at the central part most of the time. Uh, it becomes so thick that it cannot be pierced by ear glazer. So, during removal of the silicon oil, the vitreoretinal surgeon cuts the posterior capsule at the center, makes an opening by the vitrectomy carter in the center of the posterior capsule, in the central of the fibrost, in the central part of the fibrost area. And now I inject visco so that the posterior capsule goes backward and implant a single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed with the help of a Sinsky hook so that the lens is nicely centered in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance is removed by Simco as well as this bimanual irrigation aspiration. I go behind the eye well, irrigate the space between the posterior capsule and the posterior and the intraocular lens and remove all the visco. Irrigation and aspiration is continued for some time. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the side port. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is integrity of the wound is checked. There is no leakage. The case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.